Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir and this is an important video because in this video I am going to tell you exactly how to attempt a picture composition in your English language paper for ICSC class 9 and 10. Now I have found many school teachers being a little reluctant to let their students attempt the picture composition. I have heard that don't do the picture composition, don't get marks. Let me tell you very clearly and very emphatically Aisa bilkul nahi hai. In fact, if you ask me, I find picture composition the most interesting essay to attempt among the five choices, right? The argumentative, the descriptive, the narrative, the original essay and the picture composition. In fact, I have done uh, videos on argumentative, descriptive and narrative. You can see that in the playlist. Just go to the search bar on the channel and just type argumentative or narrative or descriptive. You will find that in which I have with an example explained what you really need to do. And if you really want the best essays and letters, this is the book you should own. I strongly recommend it. 72 essays, 28 letters, 10 essays and letters written by All India Toppers so that you get an idea. And if you can see like this one is in their own handwriting, this one by Purbita of the 2024 batch. So this particular book is something that you should own. Details are in the description box. And I'm going to read out an essay which is published in this book so that you get an idea about what exactly it contains. But before that, I'm going to tell you what is it that you need to bear in mind if you plan to attempt a picture composition. First, I will tell you why are teachers a little reluctant when, uh, come, when it comes to the picture composition? Why do they tell students ki, Aray, attempt mat karo. Okay, seedha batate hain. Okay, seedhi baat, no bakwas, we will get to the point straight. Now, what are the two risks that they are very scared of? That your interpretation may be completely off the mark. Ki kahani hogi Jamshedpur, aap likh rahe hain surat ke baare mein. Okay, that's what they are worried about. They don't have confidence in the child. Whereas I've always encouraged my students ki picture composition, if not your plan A, should definitely be your plan B. So you need to practice enough to ensure you interpret the picture correctly. And I will tell you with the help of an example, how do you do that in the best possible manner? Then the second risk, and this is a definitely a risk because many students do make this mistake because what they do is that they describe, Are bandhu, descriptive essay alag hai. Yaha par aapko ye nahi likhna hai ki the admi is wearing a red shirt. Are wo color photograph mein dikh raha hai or the person is carrying a black bag. No, we can see that in the photograph. You need to use the elements of the photograph to construct a report or a story. I always prefer stories because it has an element of storytelling, which is always very interesting. Okay, so this is what many students do that they only describe or only mention what is there in the photograph before them. It is not going to impress the examiner. You need to also interpret. This particular word is key. You are not supposed to describe. You are supposed to interpret. Isko zara apne dimag mein dal lo. You need to interpret or tell a story around the photograph. Okay, very important. But if you are able to interpret the photograph very well, I would rate picture composition as one of the best options to attempt in the English language examination. That's my firm opinion. Now, what is my tip? I would suggest that as soon as you see the picture in the first 10 to 15 minutes of reading time, see if it sparks off an idea in your mind. Observe and study the picture carefully. Ki kya kya elements hai? Chote elements, major elements, minor elements. You would be given a photograph that tells a tale. It will not be a dead photograph. There will be action in that photograph. There will be some activity happening in that photograph. And generally, the photographs given in the English language paper, if you examine the uh, papers over the last so many years, five, seven, eight years, they always involve children. So, this is a tip I will tell you. Child labor ke baare mein thode se stats yaad rakho. Okay, how many children are out of school? Iske statistics India ke context mein yaad rakho. Right? How many children work in hazardous industries? Those statistics you remember, right? So if you remember a few data points and if you are able to include it in the story, that will actually lift your essay that much more. Okay, so these are all things to make it better. It's very easy to say, Are isko attempt hi mat karo. 
अरे वॉट इज लाइफ विदाउट फेसिंग ए चैलेंज आई मीन डोंट एवर बी स्केर्ड ऑफ फेसिंग ए चैलेंज दैट्स वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू हियर ओके सो योर जॉब इज टू गेट दैट स्टोरी आउट सो द टेस्ट इज ऑफ योर इमेजिनेशन योर इंटरप्रिटेशन स्किल्स एंड देर बाय योर एक्सप्रेशन स्किल्स imagination expression and interpretation okay now the keyword is interpret read what the question says very clearly and in the sense of the photograph write a story or a description or an account of what it suggests to you this is what will be written in the question so you have both options report or a story there must be a clear connection between the picture and your composition as i said jamshedpur or surat wali baat nahi honi chahiye okay you are composing in words with the photograph is showing as an object of art okay what the photograph is showing you have to express it in your words now what are the mistakes many students make many students obviously don't make a connection between the photo and the composition the picture is saying is the composition is saying west fir anda milega okay so if you don't want to make an omelet don't do that there has to be a logic to what you write obviously it has to be logical thoda sense to banna chahiye na your interpretation may vary you know it's a story that's perfectly all right the examiner will give you leave aisa nahi ki examiner sochega ki ye story likhega tabhi main marks dunga nahi dunga aisa nahi hota hai examiners are not unreasonable human beings okay but if you have logic in it your interpretation can be anything but it needs to have logic in it it will convince the examiner what you see in me may be totally different from what another student may see it is the same way it is just the same way you know you can see me as someone who is wearing a ah, a tin tin ka t-shirt wow you know it looks good black t-shirt yellow bright color another student may look at it very differently no sir should wear formal solid shirts only then it looks good so it may be totally different interpretation of me wearing this t-shirt that's how it is but if both students argue logically no problem okay don't list out the objects in the photograph interpretation is key what you should have in a picture composition use your imagination decent vocabulary it doesn't need to be shashi tharoor's vocabulary it needs to be decent vocabulary where you don't keep repeating the words good intro and good conclusion very important in any form of essay so now let's come to the elements of the composition story writing can be risky if you don't get the plot right but if you are someone like me who writes good stories it's a great option to uh, attempt okay you need to have a basic plots characters create an atmosphere sama bandna chahiye you need to create an atmosphere and ensure you don't get carried away that you know you exceed the word limit you yourself could be a character in that photograph very much possible and you can show yourself interacting with other characters this technique makes it easier in fact the storytelling becomes easier if you yourself put your uh, uh, if you yourself are a character in that photograph okay an interesting engaging climax in the sense that it should kind of you know either it can be a twist in the tale or it could be a feel good kind of an ending right so those are the kind of endings which you should try to do okay so attention to detail clothes surroundings atmosphere facial expression if the picture shows different people start with what you see in the picture and construct a description or give perspective now let's come to the photograph now this is the photograph which is there as one of the essays in this particular book so that you also know ki is book mein kya milne ki sambhavna hai what what's the quality of essays as i said i strongly believe and i have done a survey i really think this is the best book available for icsc students for essays and letters on how you should construct it and that's a what the feedback has said last year this is the feedback this year also so what you are seeing is a paddy field this is a paddy field with a lot of stagnant water it is very obvious that these are all students from the same school because they are all wearing similar uniform except this student and this student who seem to be wearing slightly whitish uh, color shirts while the others and this boy also they are all wearing uh, blue shirts whatever you know could be any reason but it's very obvious that they are all school students this gentleman out here seems to be some kind of a guide who is obviously they are all holding it in the paddy in the same way which is very obvious that he is teaching them something right so that is the situation so you understand the context of this particular photograph that's very important now you don't need to say that you know she is wearing blue shirt 
he is wearing also wearing blue shirt but this boy is wearing white shirt not necessary right you are not constructing a story about how students went to a paddy field wearing different kinds of uniform that cannot be the story why it is illogical in the sense that that's not what this photograph is intending to show you what this photograph is intending to show you is that there are many schools which uh, take students on these trips outside to get i mean to make them experience life as it is in this case the life of a farmer the life in rural india right so this is a great way you know it's outside the classroom learning outside the classroom for all you know these students may have read about paddy cultivation in their geography class but how do you actually do it this is giving them a practical demonstration so those are the aspects that you need to focus on as far as this particular photograph is concerned i hope i'm making myself very clear so you know as soon as you see the photograph this is how your mind should operate is what i'm trying to tell you okay now let me read out the story that i have written each and every see there are many so called authors jinko ki bola jata hai publisher se the hum likh denge book aap sirf apna naam dijiye okay i don't want to take any names but there are many great people like that this book every single word okay every single word in this 190 odd pages is written by me personally even the 10 essays and letters written by my students i have checked them edited them so there is my involvement but each and every word i don't do this thing of you know yahan se leke naam de do no that's cheating this is every word written by me so this is a story also written by me so in an original story i mean in a picture composition it's optional but i've given the title when we turned farmers right so you could give a title also no problem okay this is what will become rice for your lunch eventually said ramchari a farmer cheerfully as he handed bunches of paddy to each one of us each one of us means i am also a character in that particular story so i have constructed a story and from the first sentence itself i have kind of established the character of the person of the gentleman who is teaching us and what we are doing so he is saying that this particular paddy will eventually become rice for your lunch a farmer cheerfully so cheerfully it gives you a sense of the atmosphere at that particular place on the in the field i was among the 14 students from bishwas high school who had been selected to visit an agriculture farm in medak district of telangana the idea was to expose us to a rural way of life what i told you just now and get a practical demonstration of how farming is done so in the first paragraph you have not as i said i have given the basic details the number of students where we are from where have we gone the geographical location the name of the person and what was the intention of that particular visit all those details are there in the first paragraph khatak okay examiner kahega fantastic opening it gives me all the necessary details in the first paragraph itself in the nail on the head that's what your approach should be seedha rohit sharma ki tarah power play mein ball waste mat karo seedha khelne lag jao aggressively that's what you need to do okay ye nahi ki no tuk tuk karke you are examining ki pitch slow hai ya fast hai no get on to the front foot straight away we had pulled up our trousers and got on to the water log farm gingerly gingerly means carefully you know you are you are scared you may get slipped obviously you you people from urban cities urban towns right urban places um so you are not used to that so you are scared you may just slip are re kitni mitti hai mere pair gande ho jayenge meri nail polish kharab ho jayegi you know you, everyone would be very worried right careful not to slip and fall we are read about how paddy is grown as part of the chapter on agriculture in a geography textbooks but to actually feel the paddy with our hands and the wet soil on our feet was quite another experience you can use an adjective and say was an exhilarating experience right chari sir asked us to stand at a distance from each other separate the paddy into fewer strands the way it is sown okay this is as part of the sowing okay uh, bend down and plant it in the wet wet soil beneath the water 
दैट इज यू कैंड ऑफ सॉइल नीचे होगा ना ऊपर पानी है ना एज इट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड हाउ इट वॉज टू बी डन ही एक्सप्लेन द टाइम टेकन फॉर पैरी टू ग्रो एंड आइडियल क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट कंडीशन इन विच इट इज डन ऑब्वियसली इज गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल दैट प्रैक्टिकली राइट we had been taught all this in the classroom but to do it in, so in real life gave our understanding of the subject an entire new dimension see also another thing in all your essays you have to be your age so this is in that sense absolutely perfect you are playing a student who has been taken to a field you are relating it to the subject which is definitely there in your geography syllabus so in that sense it's a perfect complementing of the subject with what is there in your actual real syllabus i asked chari sir about the insects that i could see floating in the water so now you are using what i said imagination photograph mein insects nahi dikh rahe but obviously that would be there so you are using your imagination and wanted to know if they would not devour the paddy sown by us devour means kha lenge eat up devika wanted to know if farmers like him do not develop skin diseases by standing in muddy water every day you know it's a typical urban perspective nothing wrong with it but these are obvious questions also it will establish the students are curious and want to ask questions that's but natural right chari sel replied to all our questions with patience and dollops of humor means lot of humor so you see what i said good vocabulary so in between you are using some words which is a shade better than the usual class 9 and 10 he told me that not all insects are villainous in nature and devika was treated to a fun lecture on how good mud is for human skin so you realize you know you are kind of introducing a subtle wit and humor into the story we were told that the paddy sown by us would be ready for harvest in a few months Chari sir promised to coordinate with our school so that we could be brought back to take part in the harvest of the crop. You know when you have to cut the crop, which will be after a few months. So you have kind of you know talked about what you did, what was the interaction like, what was what would happen in the future, and how do you end? What I told you in the beginning, depending on the subject of the photograph, either a twist in the tale. or a feel good now this is not not a suspense kind so a feel good would be much better so how do you end it as you sow so you reap you know as you sow so you reap during the harvest season you can get a practical demonstration of the proverb as well he said and laughed you know you can say and we all laughed right so this is how a feel good essay is to be constructed i hope isse aapko fayda hua the details of the book are in the description box i really wish you should keep picture composition as your plan a or plan b for your class 9 and 10 examination because as i said it gives you a lot of scope and especially if you are the kind who reads stories you should definitely attempt this instead of an original story mai original story pe ek aur video banaunga um, i find less students attempting original story right because reading habit nahi hai but this kind of a story i'm sure many of you can construct because this is a mixture of an original story plus some kind of practical life elements right isn't that so so i hope aapko maza aaya ko seekhne ko mila tata bye bye thank you very much god bless you practice writing essays because that's the only way you are going to get better if you think us din exam wale din subah pahunch ke main kuch bhi likh dunga marks mil jayenge hanga milega kuch nahi milega okay you need to practice only hard and smart work always space in the long run okay tata bye bye god bless you